What's up guys, Justin here with the SketchupEssentials.com back with another SketchUp extension tutorial for you. So in today's video, I wanted to answer a question that I've been getting a lot lately, especially from users inside my community about approving unsigned extensions. So this is something that's a security thing that's contained inside of the extension manager and there's a bunch of confusion about it that I'm gonna try to uh, clear up in this video. So let's go ahead and just jump into it. All right, so extensions for SketchUp can come from a lot of different places, right? You can get them from the 3D warehouse. You can also get them from external locations as well. And so as a part of a security thing that SketchUp did back in 2016, I think, um, you can find, I will link to this page in the notes down below, but there's an option down below for managing trust and signatures. And so basically what this is, is if you've ever downloaded an extension, if you get an extension that's unsigned or SketchUp blocks the installation, this is why. And basically what this is, is back in 2016, SketchUp gave um, developers the ability to claim their software with a digital signature. Um, so basically what it was is something that the developers can put in their extensions that lets the SketchUp extension warehouse identify them. So it's an additional step um, for security to make sure that people aren't doing like bad things with code or anything like that. And so you can find more information about this by going into the extension manager and clicking on the gear right here. And notice how there's three options in here. There's options for identified extensions only, approve unidentified extensions, and unrestricted. And so basically what this is going to do is you have three different options that you can select in here. And notice how there's a little bit more information on each one of these when you look at them. But basically what they're going to do is if you set this to identified extensions only, then this is only going to load extensions that have that digital signature, right? So, and usually those are gonna be extensions from the SketchUp extension warehouse. Now, if you have it set to identified extensions only, some extensions like Deck Builder um, is a good example, are going to be blocked if you set it that way. This might look a little bit different in versions older than 2021, um, but but you may get like a message or something like that. But you can see how this shows up as blocked. Well, the reason this is blocked is because it's an unsigned extension, right? So right here, it says that it's unsigned, so it's not gonna allow it to load. However, if you click on the second button, what it's gonna do is it's gonna prompt you before loading those extensions. All right, so let's say I was to download the deck builder extension. So let's say that I was to download that from an external source. So if I was to download it directly from the Sketchication warehouse and try to install it, notice how we're gonna have this set to approve unidentified extension. So if we click on install, and then we install that extension, you're gonna get this note, right? Warning, unidentified extension detected, um, failed identification, uh, identity verification. This may be caused by a missing or outdated di digital signature. And then it gives you an option. Do you want to load this extension? Yes or no. So that's basically asking you, hey, do you trust this extension um, and still want to load it even though the digital signature isn't right? So if you click on no, it's going to do nothing. If you click on yes, then it's going to go ahead and it's going to load that extension in, right? So here it is right here. And then let's say that we were to uninstall this. I'm going to restart SketchUp. So let's say we were to set this to, let's say we were to set this to unrestricted and click on confirm. And then we were to load this. Well, now it's just going to load the extension, right? No issues whatsoever. So you have three choices in here. Identified extensions only is going to block those new extensions. Approve is going to give you a message asking if you want to install them. Unrestricted is going to allow you to install anything that you want. So what does this mean? So basically what this means is this means, depending on how concerned you are with security, the most secure way to do this is to only download extensions from the SketchUp extension warehouse. Um, now that being said, that process of getting the digital signature figured out and all of that is a little difficult for newer developers. A lot of those guys just don't want to deal with a lot of that stuff, which I totally understand. So if you're getting extensions from a third party source that you trust, like the SketchUp plug or the Sketchication plugin store, for example, um, usually you're going to be in good shape downloading those as always. Um, whenever you're downloading stuff and installing it on your computer, there's always a chance that you're 
you're going to get something bad. But generally speaking, if it's in, so if it's in an extension warehouse like the Sketchication extension warehouse, generally you're going to be okay. That's a fairly trusted source. But as always, you are getting those from a developer not officially approved by SketchUp. Now, if it's like a random Ruby script file that you find on some website somewhere, you should probably be a little bit careful before you install that because you don't want to just be installing random things on your computer. Um, so it's really kind of has to do with how willing you are to take any kind of risk whatsoever. Um, I find it to be a fairly low risk. I leave mine on unrestricted all the time because I'm not really worried about it. Um, I haven't had any issues downloading and installing extension files and having any security problems but I might be a little bit more careful if I had something that came from a weird place or something like that. So that's how this works. Um, if you ever get that message, that's what that means. All right, so that's where I'm gonna end this video. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment down below. I'd be happy to try to help you out. If you like this video, please remember to click that like button down below. If you're new around here, remember to click that subscribe button for new SketchUp content every week. If you like what I'm doing on this channel, please consider supporting me on Patreon. Every little bit helps, so make sure you check out that link in the notes down below. But in any case, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. I really appreciate it, and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks, guys.